Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. It's been a while since I put a little video up. That's alright though. We're good for now. Um, <clears throat> so we want to talk to the boss. Who's in this truck. Yeah, it's an odd... You knew? Then go pay your respects to Mr. Coates. Okay. This is Mr. Coates. And we just walked right through him. We are now Mr. Coates. Never seen your face around here before. Going up? Yeah, up. You don't seem to understand how things work down here. This is the Gold Saucer's garbage dump, and that makes all of you scub scrubs. The only way to get back up there is to win the Chocobo race. But it's not as easy as you rookies think. Of course, and if you got the boss's permission, that'd be a different story. But you'll never get that. <laughs> so apparently he's not the boss. Yeah, yeah, okay, he just repeats his lines. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to go into this house here. Said so go into there. Didn't I tell you not to come here? J just hold on for a second. We, we just want to talk. You'll understand if you hear us out. Wow. There's a lot of bullets for one guy. Didn't want to get none of you involved. Hey, there's Aerith. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous, so I can't let you get involved, blah blah blah. Yeah, we're already involved in this. We just saw you and hurried here. Barrett, just tell us what's going on. You guys. I heard that the murderers were at the battle arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? There's another. Another man that got a gun grafted into one of his arms. It was four years ago. Hey, more of Barrett's past. I remember, I was on my way home from visiting our Mako reactor being built. Barrett, dying, come quick, the village is being attacked, it's Shinra soldiers. What? Oh lord. That sucks for them. What the hell happened? Yeah, notice he's actually got an arm now. Instead of a gun. Hey, Baron, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back to the village. Oh, what a fool, Dine. Barrett Dine, protect the village! Oh god. <laughs> Old man! Whoa, whoa, dance, Barrett, dance! Come on, Barrett, we gotta hurry! Come on! Dear Lord. Barrett, you stay here! Gah, you could shoot that all day and never hit them with aim like that. Shove! Ha <laughs> stop playing around and cover me! Watch out! Oh, Jesus! Don, hang on! Listen to me! You're coming back to the village here! Yeah, I ain't letting go. You're coming back. Everyone's waiting for you. Eleanor and Marlene, they're all waiting on us. Oh! Right in their arms. That sucks. From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. Then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm now. To get revenge on the Shinra, took everything away. Back then, I heard the doc say there was another man who got the same operation as me. But it was his left arm. But Dine's injury was the same as yours, right? Ah, uh, but he was holding him with a different arm. 
Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by the Shinra too. He'll probably join us against the fight against the Shinra. Oops. I wouldn't bet on it. I gotta apologize to Dom before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it, because if you die on me, I'm gonna have nightmares. Barrett, this isn't the end. Weren't you going to save the planet? Shit, Tifa, you ought to know by now. That's alright. I'm not so different than you. It's easier to understand. Uh, that's easier to understand. It's you, Barrett. So there it is, Barrett. I guess it'll be me, Barrett, me, and... Now, whoever you pick for your party gets, uh, date points for your date later on. I'm gonna keep Tifa. And we can't go back, so let her. We can, but we don't want to. Instead, let us head this way. And now we gotta encounter random battles again. Ah, let's show off Blade Beam, shall we? They all should be dead. Splits off. Okay, well, not all of them. Oh, dear lord. Fuck you. My limit breaking in. Hey, he's gonna heal us. Thank you. It saves me using uh, some MP to heal myself. Well then. So yeah, uh, Sid have replied to my videos, and uh, I have to use the level 1, or the, well, the first limit, well, okay, let me explain in the limit menu. Alright, you've got your first limit break, and then your second limit break for each set, <clears throat> except for the fourth one, but I'll explain that. Uh, in your second one, you have to, or in the first one, you have to use Braver 8 times. And then you'll learn Cross Slash. You have to use Blade Beam seven times, and you'll learn whatever's after that. And you have to learn your level three, do that six times, and then you'll learn the second one. And to get your <laughs> next level, you have to get a certain amount of kills, except for your fourth one, which requires a special, different method. But that's enough of that. Let's move on. Look at that, there's a treasure chest open over there. I could save, but I don't want to. Since I just saved, like, not too long ago. Now, let's see. Okay, this well over here that you saw to my right... We're gonna go down that, just so I can show you something pretty neat. Okay, fuck it. First thing should die, and then hopefully the bandits will get roughly injured. Well, that's our second use. After I rough these guys, oh Jesus! Hey, there's still a turbo left. That's kind of useful. Assault gun? How dare you steal my initial equip? Die! There we go. Yeah, I, you can't get rid of your initial equips, unless they steal it, apparently. Alright, so... We're gonna go down this. Now... In the Japanese version of the game... Uh... Something down here was called a Test Zero Monster. And if you can see through the background with a... Uh, I don't know, some sort of code, you can see a little a guy back there, or at least a silhouette of him, or something. I don't remember. Oh, this guy's dead. Shot. Let's go this way. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, that's just some interesting information I thought I'd share with you guys. Beat the crap out of these dudes. Oh no, what is he gonna take? Echo, okay, well that's not that important, but I wanna kill him anyway and get him back. Come on, he's 
still not dead? Oh, that asshole ran away. Alright, take my echo screen. I don't want it anyways. Oh boy. Yeah, if you happen to manipulate one of those with a manipulate material, you just got yourself a free uh, heal. A healer, even. Let's see. I forgot to take that mithril thing off uh, Kate Sith, but that's okay. We don't really need it. Alright, now our goal is to head east. If we can... there we go. This place always confused me as a kid, because you, you wouldn't think to go through that little hole, and you'd think to roam the desert, and that's not what you want to do. Not at all. Well, these things give you an enemy skill, I think. But, uh, we don't have the enemy skill material on. Alright. Die. These things look oddly familiar. I don't know why. Maybe because they're in Crisis Core, I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I've played Crisis Core. Take a long time to There we go. Alright. Alright, level up for Tifa. Since, uh, <clears throat> Barrett left the party, he's gonna be a little behind. What the? Done. Is that you? Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I always hoped to be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen to me, Don. I want to... You just shot Barrett. What's that? I hear her voice. I hear her voice, Eleanor's voice, begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I didn't hunt you down. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Why you want to kill those that ain't even involved? Why? Why? What the hell do you care for? Are the people killed are going to understand why? Are the people of Coral going to understand just hearing Shinra's excuses? I don't care what the reason is. All they give us are artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? Alright, I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. The people of this city. The city itself. The whole world. I got nothing left in this world. Coral, Eleanor, Marlene. Don, Marlene. Marlene's still alive. I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. That's why I wanted to be by her side till the end. That's when I found her. I found Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, alright? So, she's still alive. Alright, Barrett. I guess that means you and I gotta fight. What? Eleanor's all alone by herself. I've gotta take Marlene to her. Whoa! Don, are you insane? Marlene wants to see her mom, doesn't she? Stop, Don! I can't die yet! Oh yeah? Well, my life's been over since then. Stop it! I don't wanna fight you! Barrett! Cloud, you stay the hell out of it. This is my problem. So I'll have a fight with Barret. Barret only. You can cast fire too if you want. Probably gonna do more damage than you're going. He attacks with Needle Gun. Nothing really too bad here. 
be afraid to use limit breaks on thine. Alright, it's a uh, standard one on one, so you go deeper. Sometimes you'll be a little faster than you go. I'm a little quiet, that's uh my apologies. Let's see, we have a high potion here. You don't want to let Barrett's health drop below 400 at least. You know, just in case. Don't oh, look like no dang Molotov cocktail of me. It's my theory status, I'm gonna miss a lot, so I think it's best to stick with Fire Kitty. And my limit break. Oh, jeez. He gets a little more aggressive this time for aggressives. Alright, let's see. Oh, beat I like his gun arm a lot better. That silver armlet. Back. He's a. Uh, he's pretty crazy. It wasn't just my arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where I went wrong. Done. I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you, I... I want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world. Even me. And what about Marlene? What's gonna happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go to her now, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett? These hands are a little too stained to carry Marlene anymore. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's, my wife's memento. All right. Wow, Marlene's already four. Barrett, don't make, don't ever make Marlene cry. Dine? Dine! Dine! And he just jumped off. Dine, me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't be able to carry Marlene either. Rah! Yeah, sorry, it's like two in the morning. I'm trying not to be so loud. Want some? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta get the boss's permission, then win the chocobo. Don's got his reasons and can't speak. So I got this instead. Yeah, bull! I want to go up. R right. Did you kill Dine? You must have, or you'd never be holding that thing. So, Dine's dead. Maybe now this place will calm down a little. I didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? Right, right. I mean, no, I don't know anything. S sorry. Then, will you get us out of here? Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you, there's only one way to get out of here. That's the win the Chocobo race that's held up there in the Gold Saucer. And only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No, really, even if you threaten me. A rule's a rule, I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up, and I can't do that. 
Okay, okay. I'll let one go up there. After that, he's got to deal with Dio. Alright then. Cloud, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race. Get us out of here. Right, Cloud. We'll be waiting and rooting for you. <laughs> okay. Have you decided? All you need now is a manager. You register and get a chocobo? Hi. I happen to hear your story. Esther. I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. She may look kind of funny. But there's no better manager in the races. That's so rude. Yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. Alright then, Cloud. I'll send you up the elevator, and Esther will fill you in on the details. Hmm, so that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing, there are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for fame, some people compete for money, some for glory. And then there's people like you. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Okay. Um, first you select button to choose either auto or manual. In other words, either control the chocobo or let it run on its own. But it's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't listen can't really help with this one. But most of the chocobos that'll provide you are mellow and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, press square to speed up and X to slow down. But if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it'll lose its stamina really fast. The directional button will move it left and right, use circle button to get a boost of speed. Of course your stamina runs out faster though. There's some bad tempered chocobos that can't pace themselves and they'll lose their stamina pretty fast. Well, for these kinds of chocobos, you should set the manuals, controls to manual and slow it down. Finally, some advice for the restless. And once the first and second chocobo cross a goal line, push start button to end the race. Now that's if you don't want to wait. Before you do anything, if you notice here... Well, never mind. You knew? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther, you're looking pretty as usual. Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. He's only been down here for a day, and he's already made it up here. What? Oh, I see. So what did you do down there? Sorry, you're not supposed to about ask about the past here. Oh. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. I don't know who just said what, but whatever. Then, until we meet again, Cloud... Until we meet again, Cloud, rather, I should say. I'm gonna go check on the Chukbo. You just wait here for a while. Before you do anything, pick up that. That's the Rumba Materia. And it's missable, I do believe, so... So we're, like, stuck here for now. Okay. Let's go. Oh, never mind, we can't. Oh, I'll see you guys. Bye. Let me just walk right through you. I love the chocobo theme. Do -ne -ne. Oh, look, we're a chocobo. Cloud, your head looks like a chocobo. Cloud. Yes. Thanks for waiting. I, re I registered you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He won't lose easily. Oh yeah, do you know how to ride one? Uh, how was it again? Yeah, I got it. And good luck. Alright, let's begin chocobo races. Okay, this is going to... a little annoying here. Let me just get ahead of the pack. Now, chocobo racing is pretty standard. You know, you've got your spots and you can either speed up or slow down. Right now we're ahead of the pack, which is pretty good for us. Now if I hear if you tap the L and R buttons, like really fast alternatively, you lose less stamina. Or actually you'll gain a little bit. But 
it doesn't really help as much as you think. Right now I'm tapping them like crazy. Alright, let's see. I think we're almost done with the track. We can slow down a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to slow down to save some energy. Okay, we're almost done. Right around this bend here. Where that station thing is, is that finish. Alright, let's use our stamina. No! You asshole! That guy came out of nowhere! Yeah, no kidding. She'll find a better chocobo for us next time. I've never lost before. Jeez, this Let's Play is going along terribly. I keep failing every everything I do. <laughs> but honestly, I've never lost before. So I have no idea what's going on now. La 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 la. Okay, Cloud. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, crap. No, I, I know. I understand. Damn it. Stupid tutorials. I hate tutorials. Okay, blah, blah. Good luck. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again, folks. Boost a little bit and get ahead of the pack again. I don't think so, buddy. That guy's gonna use all of his stamina. Let's try and block him. Yeah, that guy, that guy's done for already. Ugh. Why am I losing stamina so fast? Jeez. Hopefully I got it this time. I'm spamming the L and R buttons. Probably isn't too good for my PSP, but that's okay. Alright. We're almost in the home stretch. Alright, let's try to boost a little. So we don't get no surprise. Alright, they're actually really close to us. Yes! Yeah, I didn't want that to happen again. No way. Alright, now we get a letter from Dio. Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. And, a, won, er, and won a victory that I'm sure you earned. I heard about dying from Esther. Now that you are victorious, I promise you, you and all your friends will get a full pardon and you will be set free. And also, by way of apology, I prepared a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? <coughs> Cloud, isn't this great? The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy for you. Now you can uh, go over deserts and rivers, no problem. Okay, Cloud, I'll be waiting outside. Hmm, the letter continues. P.S. I just recently met Sephiroth. He must have had a lot of fans with boys your age. Why don't you, er, why don't you get his autograph? Seems like he's headed toward the south of the river towards Gungaga. Sephiroth. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. Well, if you ever want to race or own race chocobo, get your own race chocobo. Jesus, can't read. Come back again. I'll take care of everything. Oh my God. Never mind. Alright, now I should be good to go. We're gonna end the episode anyways, it's 30 minutes. Yeah, blah blah, okay. You can cross the desert with the bogey, and you can cross shallow rivers like this one. And, uh, that's all we're gonna do for now. Uh, we don't have to go to that house. I forget that you can get fights in the buggies. Well, I'll show you the enemies around here, I suppose. 
genius. Since I'm scared. There we go. They hurt too. Well, that does it for this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next time, guys.